Let us at least enjoy our time there. If I made love to you, it must be much more. More than fun. So you will erase that woman from your mind. We started this together. And we'll finish it together. Marlon, you'll make matters worse. It is, as you say. The woman is dangerous. Since I'm gone, oh my son, you sent me to our ancestors with a lie. Behold him! Who is your king today? Go! When your wounds shall come from this wonderful king, giving birth to a mighty nation of blood-stained spears and thundering black shells. <laughs> The death of Senza Gakona's first son placed Nandi in a much stronger position, a position which her kinsmen were determined to pursue. And so it was that the Elangeni party set out to demand the new Zulu king instate Nandi as one of his wives and accept the child as his son and heir. King Marketa, most, most important advisor, will accompany them. Much will be at stake when they arrive. What do you advise, Morley? When the child is laid in front of us, we must proclaim the guilt. You must acknowledge the child as your own. So, no. I thought the king could do no wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, Baba. You were not yet king when this wrong was committed. Ntholoya. So, we are to be dictated to by this girl and her clan. Uh, uh, need I remind you, Baba? We once warned you of such a possibility. Are you saying this is your king's fault? In cases like this, the fault is seldom shared by many. Umkabai wishes to address the king. The way I see it, the king's hands are tied. He has only two choices. Accept the child and face ridicule, or reject it and face war with Elangin. I suggest you choose the path that is best for your people. Ngosi. Gabor, thank you for the advice. Gabesita. Gabesita. Sister, how is my wife? Recovering.
Inform the king that they have arrived. They tell me there is a child. Mother. A boy. Yes, a boy. There will be no wedding feast. Turn, Kelly. That's an insult, Prince. To negotiate Lobola here in front of these people is an insult to my daughter and myself. Since you have chosen to turn this affair into an open spectacle, why not take it further? Fifteen. Fifty-five. How? Nandi. Twenty. Fifty-five. Twenty-five. Fifty-five. What makes you think you're worth that much? I am, and so is he. No stone unturned. Your ruthlessness certainly delights your womanhood. Thank you for your welcome, Kabai. But then, what do you know about being a woman? Come, Nandi. Once again, Senza Kakona was married. But still, Nandi, although having a daughter by the king, remained with her son Shaka outside of real recognition. <laughs> Oh, 
In nine years, the competition is growing. Incredible. Incredible what a man would do out of spite. Baba, what do you wish from me? I'm thirsty. I wish to drink.
was. Arrogance of his mother. Now, where is the beer that I wanted? Baby, hey, bring my beer. Realize what you are saying, Mufi. Yeah, Bobaba. Your father felt it the day of Chaka's birth. That's why I wanted the woman to die before childbirth. Abula Awe. It was the last act of his reign, one which unfortunately was of no consequence. But why? Fear. Fear, Baba, of what the child would do to the nation. It was as the prophets predicted. He was born in Indulikas, the month of the prophecy. He was legitimate, the condition of the prophecy. And then his moment of birth coincided with the death of your principal wife's son. That too is the curse of the prophecy. Which doctors met him? A king's power to rule over others' lives is in itself magical. The witch doctor's magic is the king's magic. If he loses it, he is no longer king. And if what you say is true? He must be killed, now. Kill my only son? Yes, before he is allowed to start a new era in which the word Amazulu will signify terror and death. If he remains in your house, your wives will be buried. Is that not the case, Baba? Since you met with that woman, you have but only two children, both hairs. Why do you hesitate, Mfowetu? Is it out of love? Is your concern more for strangers than the uplift of your own kingdom? He's not a stranger. He's my blood. And today, he was prepared to shed yours to protect his mother. Is that going to go unpunished, unnoticed? Your reputation as king is at stake. Your pride. We will call on Nondumu of the Nzuzo clan. His powers to this mistress far exceeds those of the Sangomas. He will read the secrets of the child and provide you with the proof you need. And then, Baba, you shall make your own decision.
To leave at once. You must hurry. He will be looking for you at sunrise. He? He will be looking for us? I thought the idea was his. I cannot tell you more now, Shafukazi. Come. Why do you call me that? The Fuga is a title reserved for a principal wife. Not for an outcast. It's because you are the principal wife of Zu. Nandi, you are the queen. I knew that years ago when I first met you. 
and that someday you will return to claim that right and he will be your shield And now, Gazi, what do I tell the people that I helped you to escape? <sighs> My air, let them go. I suggest, Baba, that you do not close your eyes to solutions that fate has offered. And what might it be? That they have been coaxed into exile by the treachery of your own Indu. Aye, Baba. We couldn't have done it better. Now we must ask that they be returned to you. The Langin are proud people, Elder. Like Nandi. They will refuse, and it will mean war. Exactly, Baba. And in that war, there will be one casualty, the boy. <laughs> 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 
the condition of the prophecy will be fulfilled by you not personally having to soil your hands with the blood of your son. Your honor will remain intact. It pleases me that my counselor shows us concern for my honor. Yet need I remind them that for that honor, I have my friend's blood on my hands. And it was the counselors who wished me to accept Ishaga, to avoid war. Now you ask me to risk war for his sake. And that will seem strange to my people. That is my foremost concern, Baba. Your people. The fact remains that you could not have been abandoned by a woman. So tell the people it was my idea. I chased her away because of her arrogance. Very well, Baba. And how do I explain the death of Gazi? Hey, you're trying my patience, Ella. That is my calling, Ngozi. To make the king aware of the possibilities of a given situation at the risk of appearing a nuisance. Then, let me make it simple for you. If I risk war to get her back, her people will think I care for her. If I forget her and caught her in Jabayak, the punishment for her son will be worse than death. Not a Zulu, no longer an Elangin. He will be a boy without a clan. Go and tell the people. Very well, Baba. That will satisfy the people. But the little the people know about the prophecy will in no way reflect its true dangers. If this boy is allowed to live, he will bring about an upheaval of life itself as we know it. Baba, I sympathize with the fact that you are reluctant in bringing about the death of your own son. But he is not your son. Not in the true sense of the way. His conception was guided by the hand of evil. Do not be blind to it. Put that out of your mind, Elder. That is an order. Thank you for the advice. Baba, I... Thank you for the advice. Abad. Bayed. 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 Did it have to be Gazi? I'm proud to see that my brother is finally beginning Answer to Answer me! He was the only one I could trust. He loved you both. And what if Muli is right about the prophecy? Muli is right about only one thing. The boy's exile is the work of fate. Now he will have a chance to prove his valor far away from those who fear the prophecy and his child. Because he will bring a new world a new order, a new society. What our father and his generation called evil is the future. And it is not evil. Of that I'm convinced. Your father was loved by everyone in the village. His joy was their joy. His pain, their pain. They knew how much he cared for you. Ten boys couldn't have made him more proud than that one little girl, Nandi. They're right. It is my fault. I've always wanted what I thought was best for me, at the price of those closest to me. My son, my daughter, and now my father. It must end. Sagbona, Mama. Yes? What is it? The king wishes to see Nandi. We have sent a messenger to the Zulus informing their king that you and your children are here and requesting an explanation. His answer is quite troubling.
I've been a cause of enough scandal, of course. I'll return to his village tomorrow without my children. Nandi, Senza Ngakona did not ask for your return. He remembers no one by the name of Nandi, daughter of Pepe. And his son? His daughter? He made no mention of Chaka or Nongkoba. We are told you escaped. Is that true? Then our hands are tied. We forced the Senzanga corner to accept you once. We cannot do it again. Especially since this time he is in the right. You wanted to kill us. Andy, if the man truly wanted to kill you, he would have. I came here looking for help. And all I get is, is this? Nandi. You are in the presence of the king. Gazane, you are in the presence of a queen. Nandi, there is little or nothing we can do to help you. You are completely on your own now. No man in this village will support you. If you stay, you must fend for yourself and be prepared to be treated with a certain amount of strong enough to cope with that, I'm sure. But what about your mother and your children? Life was not easy for Nandi, surrounded by animosity. She could find no man willing to help her fend for her family, and frequently they were subject to insults and abuse. Just ignore them. Here's a man for you! 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 The whole trap, the mighty leopard. <laughs> of the king and my mother is a queen remember that go get away from here go 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 go
mother. Sooner or later, we must fight back. If you won't save him, I will. Not a minute too soon, Mpepa. Mamesha, this is my home, Mvundas, and I'll do anything to defend it. Someone burnt her granary today, and yesterday your son insulted my daughter. Is that true, Zobo? I was provoked, father. Is that true? Yes, father. And the fire? Did you or did you not start the fire? Why do you even talk to me? were right, Shaga, take five for a kettle as payment for your loss. So be it. Never again will he 
leave an enemy behind. So when would you like us to leave? I want you to know that, but whatever I personally think, I'm a king, and I belong to my people. Which is your excuse for not doing what your heart tells you. Let me make your life easy, Ngos. We leave tomorrow. Nandi, your mother can stay if you like, in my kraal. She may be too old to travel. Thank you, Bab. That's the first kind word I've heard in a long time. But I think she would like to stay near Shaka. She's afraid without the proper guidance. He'll become like me, a misfit. Salagatle, <laughs> Bab. Thank 
Give him room to breathe, Nandi. If you truly love him, let him believe that tomorrow the light will return. Let there be love, not hate. Much more, Father. Much more. You will be an outcast forever. I don't have a choice now, do I? Yes, you do. We'll say it's my child. And we're very proud of you. But you don't understand. I don't love you. I could never love you. My place is with Sansa Nakon. No matter what. Gandayana, look! So it was that after all those years, Nandi found refuge with a man she had so determinedly refused to marry. You welcome here. Under his protection, Shaka would grow and develop into a strong young warrior. Thank you. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, bom. This is what you are. This is who you are. 